Hello everyone, welcome to this blog video post. In this post, we are going to talk about freely falling body. We know, we have just now written these uh, four equations of the motion in the previous post also. That basic parameters like initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration, time and displacement are connected this way. These are called equations of motion. v square minus u square equal to 2 a s and of course distance travelled by the body in the nth second is initial velocity plus a into n minus half. We want to write these equations for a freely falling body. So first of all we need to know what do you mean by a freely falling body. It is simple if it is falling under the influence of the gravity with the initial velocity 0, with a 0 initial velocity, it is falling like this. It could be called like a freely falling body. For this freely falling body, I want to write equations of motion. So, what is the acceleration that it has? It has an acceleration called acceleration due to gravity. For every body who is under the influence of the earth, there will be a constant acceleration whose value is approximately equal to 9.8 meter per second square. Let the final velocity is v. It is very clear in this case that v will be greater than u because it is an increasing uh, velocity because acceleration is uh, positive. So, the acceleration due to gravity for a body falling down is treated like a positive value because it is increasing its uh, velocity. Let the displacement covered is something like h and I can write an equation 1 as I know the equation v equal to u plus a t v equal to u is 0 a is plus g t could be called like time of descent from this I can write an equation time of descent is equal to final velocity by acceleration due to gravity. I can rewrite my second equation of motion s equal to u t plus half a t square. Let the distance covered is equal to h. Initial velocity we have treated it like 0 because it is a freely falling body half g t square acceleration nothing but plus g. So, I got an equation h equal to half g t square. This is also nothing but time of descent. I can write that value as root 2 h by g. Now, you might got a doubt whether you have to use this formula or this formula for time of descent. Simple that depends on what is the data given in the problem. If velocity is given, I will use this formula. If height of the fall is given, I will use this formula. Simple that much there is nothing to confuse at all. Let us try to write the third equation of motion v square minus u square equal to 2 a s v square u square is 0 a is plus g and h. So, I can get a velocity v is nothing but equal to root 2 g h. This is the final velocity acquired by the body after falling to a certain height. I can write the fourth equation also. S nth is nothing but equal to h nth u is 0 a is g n minus half. So, I can write a formula distance travelled by the body in the nth second is acceleration due to gravity of that number of the second minus half. Like this we can write equations of the motion for a freely falling body also. The next post we are going to write equations of the motion for a vertically thrown body. Thank you. See you back in the next post.